So today we're going to, to be doing a social meditation practice called the multidimensional meditation on loving awareness. And this practice uh, of multidimensional meditation, I, I guess you could say it's a type of social meditation form, even though this is the first uh, loving awareness is the first focal point uh, for this practice that, that, I, that I ended up using. But the basic idea is sort of independent of what it is that you're exploring. You could be exploring loving awareness. You could be exploring compassion. You could be exploring um, fear or anger. You could be exploring any uh, dimension of experience or state of mind, um, really, with this practice. And the idea with a multidimensional meditation is that we're taking some experience, some dimension of our own consciousness, and we're um, exploring it from multiple angles. Um, I love the imagery that Jack Kornfield uses in his uh, article called Enlightenments, plural, where he talks about the multifaceted jewel of enlightenment. And uh, I think this imagery is perfect for this practice because you can sort of imagine that we're exploring something and that this something is uh, like a jewel, um, like a crystal. And that every time you turn the crystal, you'll see the crystal through another side or facet uh, of that crystal. And here the understanding is that as we explore loving awareness, as we look at it from these different directions, we're going to see something different or something new about it, even though what it is isn't different. Um, and here we're going to be using really the six ways to meditate as our kind of uh, a way of talking about some of the different facets that we can look through. So in this practice on loving awareness, we're going to first uh, have as an option to us to inquire into loving awareness uh, using the practice of inquiry. And here, the, the, the question that we've already worked with in this group that, that you know well and we've practiced is what is loving awareness? What is loving awareness? And we're just using that question as a prompt for discovering more about loving awareness. Now, sometimes we'll be inquiring into loving awareness, and then other times we may choose instead to... Uh, wish for it to arise, to aspire for loving awareness to be present. Maybe, perhaps we don't feel like it's present and we feel a sort of genuine wish for it to be present, or, or perhaps it, it, we do feel it's present and we want it to arise further, we want it to grow. And in either case, if you feel inclined to wish for loving awareness to be, then you can simply say, may loving awareness arise. And, and this is uh, working with loving awareness from the perspective of, of heartfulness, or traditionally you could call it metta. Um, that is, we're inclining the mind toward opening the heart to loving awareness in that practice. And then if you turn the crystal again, um, you might instead choose to relate to loving awareness, not inquiring into it, not wishing for it to rise, but actually you could just be loving awareness. I am loving awareness. Um, this is, uh, in the six-way terminology, I'd call this awareness, the awareness facet, you know, just being it. Um, so these are the three primary ways that we're going to work with loving awareness, the three dimensions that we'll have, uh, all have access to and share. And then there are a couple other things to mention here. One is, while doing this practice, at any point you may find that working with loving awareness from one of these angles, from one of these dimensions, doesn't quite feel right because it may not capture the fullness of what you're experiencing. Um, or perhaps what you're experiencing, it, 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 simply, yeah, it, simply, it simply can't be uh, expressed through one of these phrases or one of these ways. And in, in which case, you're always welcome in this practice to just drop down to the more essential or pith phrase, which is just loving awareness. So you can always, when it's your turn, you can also say loving awareness, the pith phrase. Um, and then, you know, there's, 
no rules in social meditation against doing something other than what's instructed. So many people in this practice also find it natural and uh, comfortable at times to, although this isn't part of the instruction, you're welcome to uh, share other things related to loving awareness. Perhaps you notice there is loving awareness or loving awareness is like this. Or you might be curious, like, who is loving awareness? Or perhaps maybe it's more true for you to, instead of saying, I am loving awareness, you might be actually feeling, we are loving awareness. Um, All of those things are also options here. Um, So you can, uh, there's no limitation on how many facets we can explore with this, but we're using these three as our kind of um, starting point.